the past simple. I am going to show you how to form a past simple and when to use a past simple. But before we get started, it is good to know that in the English language we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. And it is advisable that you study the most commonly used irregular verbs. Now let's get started. How to form a past simple? For the regular verbs, we simply use the infinitive form of the verb and add ed. I ticket the ball. You closed the door. He wiped the table. We need to pay extra attention to verbs that end in an e, such as leave, close, and a wipe. With these verbs, we use the infinitive form of the verb, but we only add a d. For example, he closed the window, the wipe at the floor. I left her in 2012. We also need to pay extra attention to verbs that end in a y, especially those preceded by a consonant, such as spy and we and study. For example, he spied it on his neighbors. We envied her cousin. They studied a lot. Now let's have a look at the irregular verbs. All irregular verbs have a unique past simple form. I built that shit last year. The infinitive form is to build. She taught English in the 1990s. The infinitive form is to teach. We ran the marathon in 2012. Past simple in questions. Four verbs, regular and irregular. We use the auxiliary verb to do. But we need the past simple tense which is did the infinitive form of the verb. For example, did you talk to him this morning? Did you ride your bicycle yesterday? Did they walk on the farm last year? For the past simple in negation, regular and irregular, we also use the past simple tense of the auxiliary verb to do. Which is did and we add not to it. I didn't want to come over last night. We didn't walk to school this morning. They didn't listen to the radio yesterday. Let's have a look at the past simple in use. We use the past simple for things that have happened at a specific time in the past. So we need to know when it happened. Yesterday, this morning, in 2009. He left for New York yesterday. We ate our breakfast this morning. They got married in 2009. We also use a past simple in questions after when. When did you buy the t-shirt? When did you graduate from high school? The lesson is over. Goodbye past continuous. But before we get started, it's good to know how to conjugate the verb to be in its past tense. For the singular form, I was, you were, he was, she was, it was. For the plural forms, we were, you were, they were. How to form the past continuous? We use the past tense of the verb to be so either was aware the base of the verb and ing. I was walking late. We were talking too fast. He was watching TV. She was walking to school. It was raining. For the plural form, we do the same. We were singing a song. You were doing a homework. They were looking for a hotel. Let's have a look at the past continuous in questions. Again, we use a past simple form of the verb to be, was aware, the base form of the verb, and ing. Was I getting close? Were you running late? Was he talking about bus? Was she playing tennis? Was it snowing? 
for the plural forms we do the same where we go in, in the right direction where we arrive by ferry where they are eating their lunch now let's have a look at the past continuous in negation again we use the past simple form of the verb to be so either was aware but we add not to it contacting it into wasn't or weren't the base form and the ing. I wasn't waiting for you. You weren't looking for me. He wasn't sleeping late. She wasn't talking on the phone. It wasn't snowing. For the plural forms. We weren't putting up a tent. You weren't speaking at the same time. They weren't copying paper. Now, let's have a look and when you use a past continuous. First, we use past continuous for a temporary activity. In the past. It started in the past and it was finished in the past. I was watching TV at the moment. It was raining last night. They were swimming in the river yesterday. 